everybody, Region Prepper here again for my second video of the day. Surprising. But, like I said in the first one, I wanted to talk about this first aid kit that I was refreshing and I thought I'd make a, well, it's not going to be a real quick video, but a video nonetheless. This is something that I started putting together before I realized, in fact, I was a prepper. I just always had the mindset of, well, I better just keep this with me just in case. And one thing led to another, and here we are. Anyway, um, I went out shopping earlier today, like I said in the other video, and picked up some stuff. And I picked up a couple first aid supplies to throw in this kit to refresh. And I uh, decided to make a video on it. So what I basically did, well, I've had this kit for a couple years now. I just took a regular toolbox and I just put the uh, sticker letters on the side and top. Just put first aid on there and if I can find one I'll put a red cross on there. I'll have to look for that. I didn't even think about that. But here we go. Now this kit, <clears throat> I'm just going to start going through. We'll start with the top shelf here. Now you saw this yesterday, the basic instrument kit that I bought at Walmart. Uh, it's got a pair of gloves in there, some tweezers and whatnot. Now I already have some additional stuff besides that in here, but keep five hour energy in there. Uh, I got a glow stick. I got some Q tips that I keep in a plastic bag, Sharpie, an additional pair of scissors and tweezers that I'm almost dropping on the floor. A uh, combination, some alcohol swabs and some uh, lens cleaning wipes for my glasses, sunglasses, whatnot. Threw those in there because I always end up getting crap on my glasses. We got some Purell hand sanitizer. I uh, got some matches and a lighter. Uh, some tape, bandage tape, and I have some triple antibiotic. This is the Walmart knockoff of Neosporin. Some Carmex, lip balm, and Benadryl. And that completes the top portion of this bundle. I know there's a couple things that I've been meaning to throw in here that I haven't picked up yet. Like I want to get a better quality, well, I'd like to add a, a multi-tool or a pocket knife to this. And I would like to add, um, I, one thing I don't have in here is a flashlight in this particular kit. But I usually keep, I usually have more than one available to me in my vehicle where this is going to be. Alright, now that we've got this done, we'll take a look at the... Let's scoot this over. The main body of the kit. Now I have, starting off, I have one N95 mask, and I, I do keep a lot of stuff in these Ziploc sandwich bags. It just keeps everything clean and somewhat organized. I've got aspirin, and I've got, these should look familiar to you guys. I bought these yesterday. These are the antibacterial wet ones individual hand wipes. This is kind of a fallback to the hand sanitizer in the top part of the kit. I got some more bandage and uh, I'll just show you a real quick overview of what it looks like from the top here. I got one bandage, uh, ace type bandage. I got this actually has a whole bunch of stuff in here. It looks it's somewhat unorganized but it, it is. I've put some more alcohol stuff in there. I got some sterile pads in here and some smaller band-aids, some larger, some butterfly band-aids here, butterfly closures. Uh, there's about two or three different size band-aids in here and some sterile pads. I just put, left them all in the one box. And I have some non-stick triple layer pads and I also have some of these gauze sponges. I keep half a dozen of them in here because you never know what you're going to run into. Then I have another uh, another roll of gauze, a smaller 
than this. Uh, let's see, you got some cough drops, and I've got some ibuprofen. Now, I took this out of the pack because I get the big bottle from Walmart, but I just took a piece of duct tape and wrote what it is. The milligrams, their tablets, and their ibuprofen. Put that with the aspirin. And I've got some latex gloves. I keep two pair per bag, so I've got two bags. I've got four pairs of gloves, because you never know. Got some hand warmers, just in case. And the complete opposite of the spectrum, we've got a cold pack. Now I do want to add a couple more of these in here. And when I go shopping next time, I'm going to have to buy another box of them. Then you've got the very basic first aid kit from Johnson & Johnson. It's got some stuff about bee stings and how to wrap bandages and everything else. Sunburn, burn, electrical burns, all that stuff. And the reasoning behind having the lighters and stuff was so I can keep some of these emergency candles in here. Now if I get stuck on the side of the road or whatever, I can have some basic source of heat and light. And to go with the pens, I keep a write in the rain notebook. I do have a write in the rain pen in my car kit, and I will eventually add another one to this. But that's about it for this. Um, if you guys have any ideas or anything else I could add into this kit, I would appreciate hearing from you. Um, this is pretty basic, in my opinion. I mean, this is my first round at putting together a first aid kit. It was a little bit worse beforehand. I had some outdated stuff I replaced uh, before I shot the video. And... Uh, like I said, I plan on adding a flashlight and a couple other things. A flashlight, some kind of a pocket knife or a multi-tool, uh, a couple more cold packs, and um, I also need to get a, uh, a package of Quick Clot. That's what I was going to throw in there, and I, I just didn't see any in the store, so I'm going to have to go look for that. I want to add one of those in there. Not the big trauma kit, but the smaller one. But like I said, you guys uh, shoot me a comment. If there's anything else that looks like would be a good addition to this, I would appreciate hearing from you. And um, you know, that, that's about it, really. This is you know, basically something I kind of whipped together, minus the usual can of AL8. You know, just some band-aids and gloves and aspirin and ibuprofen. I got some neosporin and glow stick and some other stuff. And that's about it. So, yeah, that, that's all I can think of. So, like I said, you guys see anything that I missed or you got any ideas, let me know. This is Region Prepper signing off. Remember, folks, keep on prepping. Later.